That's where we're going, up there, behind that little mountain there. Cyclists in January. That's hardcore. So we are heading into the wild <laughs> to go skiing, cross-country skiing. That's on the plan today. It's beautiful here, very beautiful, as you can see. And uh, we're heading out of uh, town and sort of 20 minute drive into, you know, like a national park, I guess probably it is. And there's hundreds of miles of, uh, of tracks everywhere. Weather is kind of rough. I, the forecast said it was gonna stop snowing and the sun was gonna peak out, but it's just snowing and windy and kind of rough. I, I hope it's gonna stop snowing. Lots of cars coming in and out. You don't see them because every time there's a car, I, I take down my phone to, to hold both hands on the steering wheel. Let's see now the parking lot, how the, how the situation is. It's very popular these days to go skiing here in Norway. Okay, not too bad. I think I'll just park here. Just ate a banana. And I have a protein shake, water, and another banana in there for when I get back. And uh, I think I'm gonna get out there. It's beautiful, but it's kind of a little bit more intense than I would have preferred. Wind and snow, it's, it's, it's not my thing. So in terms of clothing, I have a, a netting shirt underneath and then another long sleeve over there, synthetic. Then I have this uh, windstopper vest, a jacket, and here's a buff there, and then I'm gonna put another buff over the top and around like so. <laughs> Looking great. And then the hat. When you go skiing, you have to put on this, uh, it's not wa wax, because wax makes it glide. Uh, I don't know what it's called in English. English. I guess maybe it is called wax, actually. Um, and you put it here in the middle part of the ski, uh, where, you know, when you push down to push off, that comes in contact with the snow and gives you some extra grip. So this is, this is for grip, okay? And usually you would get glide on the other parts of the ski uh, to get better glide, but I, I don't have that. I, I have horrible glide actually on these skis, but like so, and then you take this uh, cork thing, you spread it out like this. at the same time is ridiculously difficult. I have to hold both poles in one hand and I have to take off my glove in order to handle the phone. So it's kind of difficult. Extremely Norwegian surroundings. I'll throw in some footage from my last ski uh, session last week when we had, uh, it was sunny weather, really amazing. But it's, it's still pretty magical, I would say. I mean, check it out. Adventure. I'm struggling as I expected to hold my heart rate low though. It's probably up at the 170s, 180s, which is extremely high, even though I'm trying to take it easy. And uh, yeah, my hand is probably starting to freeze now, so. I'm gonna put away the phone, put on the glove, and uh, focus on the skiing. I'll uh, catch you guys a little later. Even when the 
give a star Even when it all looks different Even if I grow up Even if something's missing Yeah, something's missing We're on our way back It'll turn out to be like a 12k loop or something like that Turns out the weather wasn't that bad. On the hills here, I'm just walking it. Just taking it easy, just walking up the hill, basically. And you know, I, it's kind of back to the roots for me with, with, with skiing, because not only my roots as a Norwegian, because it's a huge part of Norwegian culture, but also back to my own personal roots, because as a, when I was a kid, I actually did go skiing quite a lot. So I feel like I got it, you know, I have skills in my body somewhere and they're just slowly coming out now as I'm getting used to it more. And I also think my, my high heart rate is not just because of poor technical skills, it's also because the skis have horrible glide. By the way, I run a lot here in the summer, so I'll put a link to, to one of my running videos from this, uh, this area. Oh, we made it turn out pretty nice. Yeah, one and a half hour approximately, 12, 11 and a half kilometers. Pretty slow, but faster than last time. So this is uh, apple juice mixed with uh, soy protein, pea protein, glycine, leucine, and lysine. So it's a good mix of protein and amino acids. And... Um, yeah, the glycine is really good for tendon repair. Thank you for following along. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe. I'm going to do more vlogs. If you like them, you better give it a like. And most of all, probably, comment. Put a comment in the, in the section below. Tell me when you went skiing last and how it went. All right. See ya. Bye. I wanna lay on these, oh.